All right. Our first question is from Trey Freeman. What is a way I can improve on dips? Oh, body weight dips. One of the best muscle building exercises for the upper body. It doesn't get as enough, uh, I think, accolades or attention like pull-ups do, but dips are excellent for the shoulders, triceps, and the chest. But of course, because it's your body weight, they can be pretty hard. The advice that I'll give to get better on dips, you can apply to any exercise. And, uh, and then we'll get to more, I guess, more nuanced advice. But generally speaking, practice them every single day. Not work out with them every single day. So you're not trying to pump out as many reps as you can and get sore. But rather, you know, when you have a, a dip apparatus in your home or set up nearby, several times a day, four times a day, when you walk by it, do, let's say you could do max six dips, do like two and just practice over and over again, getting good at them. And your strength improves so quickly when you apply this frequency uh, principle to yeah. pretty much any exercise. You know, I, one I thing I, go ahead, Justin. one thing I noticed um, is the shoulder mobility is an issue for a lot of people. And, and you find, um, you know, a lot of pain sometimes with people that pre like prevents them from even mm -hmm. attempting dips. Uh, so that's something to consider and address shoulder mobility uh, to be able to put you in a, in, a, in a good postural position while attempting them because the real benefit that I've found is really trying to achieve full range of motion, uh, you know, with that exercise and, and really be able to express that uh, depth. Uh, so uh, that's something that I know that um, a lot of times that's that's probably one of the first things that deters people from even uh, doing dips is that it, they get pain in the shoulder. I'd say the advice is almost identical to the advice that we just recently gave about improving your pull-ups. Um, there is one thing that I did different though, in comparison to the pull-ups. Cause I, so I, I think I brought this up not that long ago on the show. I, the first time I remember uh, going to a gym and my buddy hopping up and doing, I don't know, he pumped out like 10 or 15 dips real quick. And then uh, I jumped up to do it. I couldn't even do one. Mm -hmm. So I was extremely weak. And something I did with that that I, I didn't really do with pull-ups that actually helped me were uh, isometric holds at the bottom and the top. Yes. Because I was so yes. weak that I couldn't even do one full one. So I would get in position all the way down real deep, and then I would just hold my body weight up as long as I could I could hold it there, and then reset, and then do it again. I'd do that three or four times, and then I'd do it at the top of the rep. So I'd get myself positioned up where I was almost completely locked out, and then I would do an isometric hold at the top. Same thing again for, for time, and then reset and do that four or five times. Uh, that helped, uh, and that's something different that I didn't do with pull-ups. Pull-ups, I never really use uh, isometrics as a strategy to improve my pull-ups, uh, but I did do that with dips, and I did notice, and I, I'm assuming that a lot of it does have to do with what you just alluded to, Justin, which is the range of motion and, and just having strength and control down there. Yeah, especially I mean, at the bottom. Yeah, how often yeah. are you ever in, in a position like that? Mm -hmm. And so I think I was just so weak in that position that just getting in that position and then holding that position for an extended period of time and then trying to progress the time that I was doing the isometric hold did enough to build some strength there that I could actually get in and out of that. Totally. And if you're really strong and you want to get even stronger at dips, you could do that with weight. So Waited, you could, yes. Yeah, and, so, and, and just a few reps. I was going to mention that too. Exactly. So you could literally strap a dumbbell around your waist and do an isometric hold at the top with a weight that you wouldn't be able to do a rep with, but you could hold yourself. So you jump up in a position, hold yourself, you know, for 15 seconds or 20 seconds. What a great way to get stronger. And then if you're on the other end of the scale and you can't even do one dip and it's very challenging for you to even do one besides isometrics at the top, which if you, most people who can't do a dip can at least hold themselves at the top. But if all that's too challenging, what you do is you take resistance bands and put them around the bars so that it goes between both bars. Then you use Neal a chair or a ladder. Yeah. And then you put your knee on top of it or your foot on top of it so that it's assisting you. When you do dips every single day to practice them and get stronger, you want the intensity to be not so high because you can't work out every single day but you can't practice them every day. So the band assistance becomes uh, more valuable. So you have the band, you put your knees on it or your foot and then do, you know, do, you know, three, four reps throughout the whole day. Every time you walk by, yeah. do a few reps. And I swear it, it will blow you away at how fast you get stronger when you practice something 
frequently. The first time I did this, it was almost like I thought something wasn't right. I, I did this with bench press uh, one time because I wanted my bench press to get up higher, and a, a trainer did you know talk me into doing this. And I remember practicing with a light with a you know moderate load. By the end of the week, I was like, wait a minute, I feel like I'm way stronger just within a week. Yeah, and I, I think this, this seems like uh, common knowledge and everybody would know to do this, but also too, like, you know, these dip bars will will narrow forward. So you can actually like scoot forward and get a more narrow grip versus like out in the wide. I remember having to explain that to a few people actually that, uh, you know, had issues because, you know, the bars were set too wide for them, uh, you know, to consider if that's an issue to kind of scoot forward and get a more of a narrow uh, grip with that. Yeah, but it's it's one exercise that I think, uh, like pull-ups, it's such a, a staple movement. And if you get good at them, you get really good upper body development from yeah. from doing dips. I don't and I don't see enough people incorporate them in their routine. At least not like pull-ups. Like everybody does pull-ups. Not everybody does dips, but I definitely think it should be up there. 